welcome to the new series for the Eric Alfaro Productions channel. This is going to be called Walking at Griffith Park. This is going to be episode zero. Episode zero. This is the site of the old Los Angeles Zoo. This is actually the upper part of it. Of course, I have not. I haven't recorded this part yet. But this is where those caves that you saw down at the bottom there, this is where they end up, right here. You can see people have actually forced themselves in here. Someone's actually trained to do graffiti there, so they'll leave him to do whatever he wants. He can get in trouble. But yeah, that's that can that he's shaking there is a spray can for graffiti. You saw the guy who was in the climbed up there? That guy? You saw you you did see the guy that climbed up in the trees, right? Well, we have action here. He's actually the graffiti artist's buddy. So they're actually up to trouble. There we go, guys. Now you kind of have an idea what goes on here. Except, I don't know if they're part of a bigger group of malignants, delinquents. The same people who did this, the same people who did that in the cages. That's Those are the graffiti people and the malignant people. And it's not even, it's actually dusk. I would have actually filmed him directly, but he would probably go bananas on me. Perhaps try to assault me in the camera. That's not a smart idea, so gotta stay safe, as I said before. So the previous three Griffith Park videos are just like a prologue, let's say. An introduction to the nature. This is actually a path I've been here before, so I already know how where this goes. This will connect with one of the paths we were on in the previous video. You got some minor trails right here, which are narrow. Right now we're headed into. We're gonna pass one of those. The, the incline, the first incline that I took in, in a previous video, we're going to come across that and I'll show you that when we get there. So yeah, there is people, there are troublemakers here. You saw those people. I kind of had to do it in the, on, the, on the fly though. Discarded coffee, iced coffee. There's one, there it is, there's the path that I was talking about. The first incline, tough, but not as tough as the other one where I could have fallen to my death. So this is one of the mountain paths. Starts at the old LA Zoo where the caves are. And we head up here. So you can hear some of the birds singing. Now you see. Now you see that. Right now. Right now it's a, it's a, just a little small risk here. Oh, plane. Felix, the rail fender and plane spotter, this is for you. It's a little special shout out of the plane here in the Griffith Park area. Can you see it? I'm pointing it in the direction, hoping you can see it. If you can't, I'm sorry, but you can hear the sounds of it probably, so that goes for you. There's no one behind me. 
And the only person in front of me would be my mom. I'll try to keep this video short. Because I'm aware that... That longer videos will probably not get watched. Due to pretty much the length. So I will take that in consideration. This whole path you can probably make it into one video, but... Other longer paths, such as further down in, further in the mountains, those could be split into multiple videos as a result of lower viewership on longer videos. Yeah, those two people were. Who knows what they're gonna do there in those in those upper portions of the old LA Zoo? They must be the part of those people who were making banging noises in the first video but you can hear them I apologize if my speech isn't the clearest I am breathing very heavily when I do these walks and they can prevent me from speaking properly so I apologize in advance if you cannot understand me but I do my best now it is starting to get darker and as I said in the previous videos the people who like to make trouble here they would probably become active after 8 15 8 30 p.m. and these mountains not necessarily here in the lower in this low path right here because this is actually just the low path there are paths way up there and those were the That actually scared the crap out of me. So that's what I'm talking about, where the safety comes in. You don't want to do this on your own or on a small group. Stuff like that can actually... Okay, we... good news, we have some people down there. But when you're alone, it... it's, easier... It's, get... it's easier to be scared by sudden noises like that. Not everything is necessarily a threat to you, but... The noises may convey that feeling of being threatened. But yeah, the safety matters. But anyway, back to my original point. Yeah, 8.30 p.m. when it's fully dark, you'll see trouble. People do trouble here. And, just, and not on this lower path, but on the upper path where less traffic is likely. Down here, we probably still have more people. People would probably do night hikes and jogs on this lower path. And people like to stay, those troublemakers will likely stay away from here just to avoid being caught. They will go to the upper pass where activity is by civilians is less likely. And that's where the trouble starts. South LA Refuse. Special shout out to him. I appreciate his comments regarding the thoughts on. Yeah, this is where the, there's another path up there. But we're gonna go down because I don't wanna go up. Well, actually, actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna go up for a little bit. So I think we can actually do this safely. Hmm. My mom is actually going the opposite way. I don't wanna, I don't want her to worry. Darn it, I, I should have told her before. <laughs> Hold on. Because maybe I could show you a little bit more of the upper paths. Before it gets too risky anyway. Because. Dude. Just like those two troublemakers. Dude. Maybe there's more of them up there. And we can get some activity. But that has to be done in a. Very. Discreet manner. I'm actually going to take this path. Because it goes down there anyway. Wait, yeah, we'll do that. Wait, I'm, what is this? Oh, horse manure. We got some horse manure. Actually, you know, we'll just navigate through this. It's not anything terrible.
So let me know your thoughts on what those two people may be up to. I, I'm i pretty sure you're just going to tag the whole place. Which is already heavily tagged, so... I don't know why you want to do more, but... Perhaps you're going to go smoke there. Who knows? But I don't think I want to mess with them. Anyway, we were at 11 plus minutes now. There's the. This is the path that we took that... It was pretty steep over there, and I slipped. Ugh. The memories will stick, that's for sure. We got some downed portions of trees. Okay, I'll cut the video here. I'll probably um, do the outro back at the parking lot, so stay tuned. Oh, another path over there. We'll probably do it another day. Okay, so I'm closer to this path now. Let me just show you these signs quickly, because there are signs. The Lower Beacon Trail. So that continues up this way. The Fern Canyon Trail, which we took last time, which is pretty steep, this way. Behind you, Park Center, Shanks Inspiration, Merry Go Round, which is closed. Park Center, Picnic Area, and Ranger Station. They're still down that road that way. The Merry Go Round is that way. And Here's an inform informative poster by the City of Los Angeles Department of Parks and Recreation. And some warning signs. I really want to do the incline, but my mom says it's a bit too late now. I do have to agree with her. Okay, how about this? We'll go that way back to the parking lot. Maybe I'll show you a bit of that. I'll sh I'll include a little more of that first trail. Maybe the nighttime will help us hear a little bit more of the sounds, if we, if there are any, of course. So I'll okay, see you, buddy. Then. This is. Eric Fox Productions from the parking lot that you've seen already. To conclude the video here, it is now past 8 p.m. The activity has only begun to start up there. That is, we're, I'm referring to the vandals that you saw earlier in the beginning of the video. I did. I should have zoomed in. I know. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe out of fear that they would. You can step to go. Update on the gate, it's not wide open. What could you expect? So I'm gonna do a little bit in here. We, we, you already saw this. You already saw this. Hey, there's an animal running over there. That's a rabbit. That I know. Hmm. Yeah, this trail is officially open now. It is actually okay to enter here now. You're, you'll be fine. So from now on, this is the end of episode zero. Hope you liked it. Episode 1 will probably come out perhaps two weeks after this is uploaded. Just to not overload you guys with the series. But I'm excited for plans for the series. I think it has good potential. If nighttime jogs become possible, I'll be starting to film those. We'll probably just do stuff on the lower path. Jog on the lower path. If I do get a... In, if, I, if you can manage a bigger group, we'll do some of the upper path. You probably can't hear that because the camera doesn't pick it up, but there's a megaphone. Someone's speaking in the megaphone in the distance. Well, 
Unfortunately, my mom isn't willing to do night ten drags at this time, but I would if, if I would do it <clears throat> in the lower path. You know, I was thinking of I was thinking of going back on that same path we were, we were <laughs> just this year. What the guys are doing there. Well, let me know your thoughts on that on those people. It looks like they're up to something bad, of course. Just in case you <clears throat> you're not sure about what the guy who ran up the mountain the mountain side right there was doing, that person was basically just keeping an eye on the path to see if any anybody else was walking. And then once he saw the path was clear, which is when I turned the corner in the mountain path, that's when he ran back down into the into the caves there. And it was like he's gonna tell the guy who was where the graffiti came to start his to start the work. And I'm pretty sure they're messing around right now. There's gonna be there's more people right there right now. Not every not everybody there who's on there right now is bad. It's just you know because some people are just doing night jogs, but a lot of people there, especially those on the upper pass, are probably up to who knows what. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.